whatever you're doing you need to stop right now because today i'm going to show you my version and i repeat my version of how i make sour wine for the boys it's the first time they're having it so let's go ahead into my pot i'm using placing some chipped peanuts i also have some pumpkin seeds and sunflower seeds now i'm going to roast these on the low heat until they are golden brown they make an excellent garnish for the finished product now I'm going to set them aside and using the same pot, I'm going to place in some butter in there. And then once it's melted, we're going to add in the vermicelli. Now we're going to chip it before we place them into the pot. We're going to chip it nice and fine. Then we're going to allow this to roast on medium heat. And I like to get mine really dark brown. You don't have to do it like that, but that is my personal preference. So we're going to get it dark like this and then we're going to add in some water. Now if my memory serves me well, the traditional recipe does not use water, hence the reason I said this is my way. So I'm placing in some water in there and I'm placing star anise, I have some cardamom pods, some clove and I do not have any cinnamon stick so I'm using cinnamon powder and I have some grated ginger that I've added to this. Now I'm going to add in some evaporated milk. So I'm now adding milk to it. Once we have that evaporated milk in there, I'm also going to add in some raisins. I'm not using much raisins because I don't want much in there. And we're going to also add in some condensed milk. And we're using the condensed milk as the sweetener. We're going to give that a mix to incorporate everything inside there. By this time, your house should be smelling heavenly all the spices have been infused in there and it smells awesome now we're gonna go in with a little bit of peanut butter again my twist and we're gonna allow the peanut butter to dissolve in there and i'm gonna add in a little bit of cornstarch that i've mixed in water to thicken this up now if it's done the traditional way you don't need to put the cornstarch because the amount of milk thickens this entire thing once the vermicelli is cooked and has swollen it's time to turn off the heat and now i like to add in my essence i'm using mixed essence if you have vanilla essence you can use that so we're going to mix that in and now it's time to share this now let me tell you this this thing is so so delicious my kids had a ball with this and they asked for more when they were finished then i used that roasted nuts that we did before and i topped it with it take a look at that it tastes even better than it looks so i hope you enjoyed my video god bless you i love you bye